my process as an artist, or my creative process, if you want to call it that, is really um, having a theme or a rough foundation of, of where I want to get to. And then it's sort of like Mr. Squiggle, you know, the television program you watch when you're a kid where you draw a whole bunch of lines and shapes and then you step back and you try to actually look within that and see, do, oh, do I see a face here? Or do I, what does this look like? What does this look like? So it's almost like the random lines and shapes that, that I draw and I create tell me how the artwork should be. And then also, because I'm doing this painting live, a lot of people will come in and say, well, I thought that was this and I know this about coffee and that will actually fuel the ideas as well. Um, so it's sort of like a collaboration, I guess, between me and the audience. So start outlining here, then just move as fast as I can, half an hour maybe. Fantastic day. Yeah. Uh, ooh, would you like a cup? Would you like a cup, huh? <laughs> Beautiful morning. Hey guys, it's uh, Ken from Dope Source Media. Uh, we're here at the beautiful Circle Key today and uh, we're just about to uh, do a little hype lapse for James who's uh, working on his little coffee masterpiece. Um, and what we're doing is uh, basically hyperlapse is, it's like a time lapse but uh, the camera, we incorporate some movement for the camera as well. So the challenge here today is there's going to be a lot of people walking in and out. It's a very high traffic area which works for the hyperlapse because I want people walking through um, some boat traffic as well and it really sells the, the effect. Um, the challenge today is that we couldn't actually set up any like tracks or, or any heavy equipment so I'm just manually going to be moving the tripod uh, every interval. Okay, so right now Ken is getting close, uh, it's probably been close to about 30 minutes, uh, 40 minutes, um, but this is where he kind of slows down quite a bit because he's going to be taking a lot more shots as he gets closer. Video is 25 frames a second so as you play, as the movements get smaller, it, it draws out, it slows down the movement, yeah? Okay. I'm starting on this thing with you working and I'll, I'll stay on this angle for uh, 10, 5 minutes and then I'll slowly come across and what I want you to do is um, just start working on the outline. So start from that corner. Like if I'm sticking in the one area too long, then just yeah. help me move, move more. Okay. Hey guys, James Patrick here and I'm at Circular Key on my second day painting with coffee. Um, it's quite windy so as you can see I've gaffer taped down all the easels and this has sort of been acting as a sail today so it's been a little bit difficult working with that. Um, painting on an angle has been pretty hard also because it's sort of like painting with watercolour, it tends to run. Um, but it's been good, it's been a hot day, a lot of people stopping by so it's been awesome. Painting in public, um, it's it's good. I, I don't mind it. I mean, there's there's benefits. There's pros and cons of both. Um, I mean, painting painting on the studio. Um, one thing that is good is that I can be watching television and doing a whole bunch of other things. But I guess the downside to that, it can be easy to get distracted when you are working in an environment like this in a studio where people are watching you. It does force you for you know eight hours or for however long I'm going for to work for, for all of that time and it forces you to really just tune everything out and put pen to paper, which is good. It's a good thing. At the moment we're in the studio working on the coffee artwork. Um, I've got it on the ground laying it flat because when you put it up on the easel, much like working on a watercolour, the coffee tends to run. Um, and what I'm trying to do is build up um, some darker areas in the artwork so I've got a better level of contrast. At the moment it looks like, looks very obscure, looks very weird because people can't see what's gonna, gonna happen. Um, but once all of the heavy dark colors dry, then I'm gonna start to cut in all the detail and pull the pictures out of it. Now in this painting, there are some things that I normally wouldn't want to, wouldn't do. I wouldn't normally have things so, so sort of chaotic and messy, but this was an experimentation that I wanted to go on because I thought, you know, I've never done this before. So this is a cool way to actually experiment and try it out. Um, and I mean, I think that's what art is really. I think most artists, you, you, you know, we're just trying to figure it all out, you know, no matter how long you've been doing it for.
Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video that these guys have put together for us. And um, down below, I'm gonna pop a few links of you know behind the scenes footage and a whole bunch of other things that we've put together in relation to the festival. Um, I'll also pop a link up on my website so you can see the full artwork. Thanks for everybody who came down and had a look at the artwork, had a chat with me, um, took some photos and all the inspiration that you guys provided. Um, and thanks for Sydney Foreshore Authority um, who at The Rocks set up the, the coffee festival and they've been awesome to deal with. Thank you. There's one there, there's one there. Um, oh, look.